Have you ever pondered over the concept of death and immortality? A peculiar friendship unfolded between a grim reaper and a young boy named Oliver Jones. Their paths first crossed at Oliver's father's funeral. The reaper, a friend of his father, had made a solemn promise to watch over Oliver. As the years rolled by, they met intermittently, always at funerals, always with the reaper donning his human form. Oliver would see the reaper's ageless face amidst the mourning crowd, his presence like an unexpected comfort in the sea of grief. With each encounter, Oliver's curiosity grew. Why was this man always present, yet never aged? Was he truly a friend of his father, or was there more to his story? The Reaper remained a constant figure in Oliver's life, his presence a beacon of strength and mystery. It was a peculiar friendship, one formed in the shadow of death, yet filled with a strange sense of comfort and understanding. But even in such an unusual friendship, there is an inevitable end. As Oliver's time drew near, I found myself visiting him in the sterile confines of the hospital. The scent of antiseptic hung heavy in the air, but it did not mask the scent of impending death. It was here, surrounded by the hum of machines and the quiet whispers of nurses, that I saw Oliver's acceptance of his fate. His calm demeanor surprised me, a grim reaper who had seen countless reactions to death. Our final conversation was one I'll always remember. Oliver looked at me with a knowing smile his eyes reflecting an understanding that seemed to say, you are death, aren't you? I nodded, confirming his silent query. His acceptance, his tranquility in the face of death was an anomaly. Rarely had I encountered a human who embraced their mortality with such grace. And so, with a smile and a sense of peace, Oliver Jones embraced the inevitable. Life and death are but two sides of the same coin, each with its own beauty and mysteries. As I stood by Oliver's grave, a sense of serenity washed over me. I had sent his soul to the Elysian fields to reunite with his loved ones. A reunion, long overdue. It was a decision I made not just as the judge of the dead, but as his friend. In the quiet of the cemetery, I found myself reflecting on the ceaseless cycle of birth and death. But death, it's not an end, it's a transition. A transition to a realm beyond our comprehension, a realm of peace devoid of the constraints of time and life. My son, another reaper, stood by me. His presence was a stark reminder of our shared fate, our eternal youth. A curse, some might say, but it gives us a unique perspective on mortality. And so unfolds the tale of the Grim Reaper and Oliver Jones, a story of life, death, and a friendship that transcended both.